Use star code PANDAWANDA when buying Robux or premium to support me. Hey PANDAWANDAS, today we're going to be doing another mega build battle. Today's build battle is going to be a Disney Encanto themed bedroom. We're going to have six people building, including myself, so seven people in total. We are each going to be giving a 10 by 10 squared off area to build in. Before we get ahead of ourselves, we should wear something that represents the Encanto characters that we have chosen. Now that we have our outfits on, let's take a quick look at the rules. You must build a bedroom with having a theme of your chosen character. You're allowed to build a bathroom, no time limit, two floors is the maximum amount of floors you can use, only build in the given 10 by 10 space, and most importantly, have fun and be creative. Now it's time to give everyone co-owner. We are ready to go. It's all up to you to choose who you think did the best. So make sure to watch till the end and say your favorite build down below in the comments. Let's go into build mode. Everyone will be choosing their plots by coloring a square. I'm going to be choosing the color green because Antonio has a jungle themed bedroom and I thought it was very fitting. Now that everyone has claimed their square, we are ready to go. Ready, set, build. So a big symbol in the Encanto movie is the doors where they have the labels of the people's name and a little design on them. So I decided to do my best to replicate this. And so I put a decal in front of my door that I will change into Antonio's name and a photo or something like that. And then I'm just coloring the door orange. to go into the bedroom to start building it and decorating it. Basically, I wanted to have my own desk because I wanted half of the size of an actual Bloxburg desk. So I used the resizing tool and different shapes to build my own desk. I don't know if anyone caught on to this while watching the Encanto movie, but Antonio's bedroom is not just a jungle right away, right then and there. It's the beginning of a bedroom and it has a very small clip of where this desk is, some picture frames and some decorations. So basically I did my best to replicate that as best as I could. And that's why I'm building this desk over here. done and now I'm going to be using this flooring to map out the shaping of the, the room and how exactly I'm going to be building it. So my initial idea was to have this big tree in the middle that I'm going to be building myself but that was not able to happen because of two reasons. One of there being only a 10 by 10 squared area space limit to build in. Believe it or not, that was not enough space to build a huge tree. And two, because of the two flooring limit, I had to use either the second floor or the basement flooring. So I decided to go with the basement flooring and the main floor because in the movie, you can kind of tell that the floor of the bedroom kind of runs off and there's like stuff on the, the lower ground, I guess. So that's why I chose it to do it that way. Here on the left, I'm starting out by building my tree. I moved it from the middle to the left side because it was more convenient and there there was more space to build other things and ideas that I had. In the movie, they show a small clip of Antonio being welcomed into his bedroom with going on a slide that goes under a snake. So I tried my best to replicate this with water slides because they are able to twist and turn. And with the limited spacing I had, this was the most efficient way of making a slide. Over here 
I'm going to be building a bridge from one side of the tree into the water slide because you got to get there somewhere. It's not like you're going to jump over two blocks and actually make it. So I use some string, some rods, some wooden planks and garlands to, to decorate the wooden bridge. I am making my own tree instead of using an actual Bloxburg tree. I had to decorate it with using some shapes because no tree trunk is that flat. So I'm using some shapes to kind of outline some detail onto the tree and make it look more realistic. I needed a second bridge so I decided to kind of replicate the design I made with my first bridge in order to get to the inside of the tree. Antonio's bedroom is type of a rainforest jungle theme. So of course I needed to add some waterfalls to make it look more realistic and more like a jungle. To give the tree a more realistic look, I used some slanted ramps in order to create the type of look of roots for the tree. And I think it turned out pretty awesome. Over here inside of the tree is where I decided to make the actual bedroom and the bed is going to be right spot and centered because we don't have a lot of space to work with. I got this design idea for the bed online. I don't remember who it's from, so credits to them. But it's basically a couch, some leaning backwards type of pool chairs and then the bed on top of it. this is a jungle themed bedroom kind of i decided to add a lot of a wood type of textures a dark browns grays and greens i also tried doing a second floor in the basement to go downstairs but then i realized that with the trunk and the roots of the tree also known as the stair ramps it would interfere and make like a one by one bedroom space area i don't really know but it would not work out so i just stuck to this main floor of the bedroom and kept decorating it. I also added some cool features such as these curtains and turned them into grass designs or grass textures to make it look like it's an actual tree being lived inside instead of like a random uh, fake tree that we just plopped in the middle. And now I'm going to be adding in some windows to the room and decorating some more. it is absolutely required to have a lot of plants so that's basically what i'm doing adding tons of plants and whatever else i can find into the bedroom Of a 
boring old roof and just a boring old tree that I just plopped down and built with walls, I decided to add actual trees inside of my actual bedroom so that it would look more realistic to the top part of the tree. And then I add in a roof because there were still some spaces that you could see in from the bedroom and you still need a roof, yeah. <laughs> I also added in a fan while I was at it. Now I add in the roof, don't worry. moving on to the basement level of this bedroom so on the base floor i'm going to be having right above this door frame is going to be a decal where i'm going to be changing it into a snake image because in the movie antonio swings from a snake after going down the water slide the slide that there magically is there and so i'm going to be changing the decal into a snake because i feel like it would be a very cute idea to do and then for the rest i'm going to be putting in this pond area that he comes from from the slide because it would only make sense if it's a water slide and then adding in the rest of the flooring to be grass. To make the floor texture of water look less weird, I decided to outline it with rocks so it would look like actual water that won't spill onto the grass. And it added a little bit of extra detail that I liked. I also remembered that there were lily pads and frogs, so I thought this was a perfect time and place to use them. So I did decorate this area with some frog sculptures and some lily pads in the water. walls blend in better I decided to add in these pillars and have them be a grass texture so that they won't look out of place. Now I'm going to the main level once again and I'm going to be outlining the rest of the bedroom with this texture that is originally from Antonio's actual bedroom before a whole forest grew. <laughs> Once again, on top of this door frame is going to be another animal. I haven't yet decided what it was going to be, but since it's a rainforest, I did my best to add lots of decals that I will change into some rainforest animals to make it look more realistic. So in the movie, around the tree, there are some mushroom type of things that grow into like a staircase spiral where Antonio jumps from and walks through or whatever to get to the top of the tree. I did my best to replicate it with using these cylinder shapes and making like a staircase type of look with them. And I thought it was a really cute addition. It did add a lot of different features to it and made it, made it look nice, yeah. So on the stairs, I decided to add some patches of grass along with some flowers so everything looked like it was supposed to be there and not out of place. adding in some string lights from a tree to tree coloring them red green and yellow i do end up changing these lights into the double colored lights because it gave more opportunities on colors and stuff like that i'll change them later on but for now this is what i put in and now i'm going to be going on to the main level where i am right now i'm going to be outlining this flooring with some rocks plants vines and decorations to make everything look like it fits in better So here I am finishing up the trunk and the roots of the tree around the rest of the area that is left to finish off the tree base. And then I go on to do the left side of the tree with the little stair mushroom type of things that I spoke about earlier. Here I'm going to be making 
making bamboo out of these shapes and resizing them and using some plant grasses to put on top so it would look more realistic, fit in, and fill up this little corner. these flat rocks over here and color them into a grass texture so it would look like there was a grass going into the concrete of the actual bedroom flooring and it would look more realistic. I move on to the other side of the entrance of the bedroom and I'm going to be adding in some bamboo sticks, some more plants and make it look more rainforesty. I also decided that I had no idea what to put on this side of the bedroom because I already had the bed inside of the actual tree. So I decided to add in a bookshelf and decorate it with some books, more plants and do my best to fill it up. things that were added to Bloxburg are these potted plants that have vines coming out of the pot in the plant and I thought it was a really cute and perfect addition for this type of bedroom. I also go on to continue decorating the desk area as it needed a little bit more decorations and then I use these confetti type of things once again and string them across the bedroom to make it look like vines. up some decorations on the main floor I got this idea of adding in the hammock. In the movie there is a scene where Antonio lands on a hammock with some of his animal friends and then he gets like flung upwards onto the slide or something like that. So to replicate this I made a hammock floating and then used some ropes and some strings to attach it to some trees so it wouldn't be entirely floating but I thought it was a really cute addition. So now I'm going to be adding an actual roof on top of this a foresty bedroom, a rainforest bedroom. Yeah, that's what we're calling it. And I'm going to be using a skylight roof so that we can see the actual lighting from inside of the bedroom. And I am still abiding by the rules because I stick to the two floor limits of the bedroom by using the roof and extending it upwards from the first floor. As I said before, I do change out the fairy lights to the two colored lights because I thought it add more colors to the room at the same time and made it look more pretty or something. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to be going to the lower level, the basement level of this bedroom canopy rainforest. And so I'm going to be adding in lots of designs, including some rocks with some shapes that I used the scaling tool for, some grass patches, some mushrooms, some flowers, and whatever else I can add to make this look like a magical rainforest. There was some empty space in this little corner of the room where the slide comes through and I didn't want an empty corner so I decided to add in some bamboo scattered but I ended up realizing that where I put the bamboo the slide actually goes through so I ended up having to move the bamboo into a different corner but it was a-okay because we were able to fix it and make it look even better. The walls 
love the basement a level were very empty since it was just concrete so i decided to add in these vines and color it magical colors with some leaves still being green and i loved the outcome it was probably one of my favorite additions it made it look less empty and more colorful both at the same time I also ended up doing it the same with the leaves onto the main level because it was, I loved it so much. It fits so well. And so that's what I did. Here I am once again adding in some more bamboo to fill up this little area because I had no idea what else to do. I also added in some grass patches, some more plants, and continued decorating. Fog machines were a big part of this bedroom. Rainforests are known to be very misty, so I used some fog machines to give it that, that type of feeling and to make it seem even more like an actual rainforest. I am decorating this little area, finishing up some last minute details with adding some rocks, some more decorations such as mushroom colorful areas, lights, and whatever else I could think of at the moment. So when I finish up this area, I'm going to be basically done with decorating the bedroom. So now it's your favorite time of mine. It is tour time.
for this mega build battle. If you would like to be in the next mega build battle, make sure to join my Discord, link in the description for a chance to be in one. Also, make sure to comment which one was your favorite build. I'll see you guys next time. The Panda Girl is out. Bye, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be a part of the Panda Wana Habitat. Also, click that notification bell to be notified when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out.